Hello and welcome to another complete Cambridge IGCSE biology lesson where you'll learn absolutely everything you need to know on topic 14.5 tropic responses. As always we'll be following the Cambridge syllabus exactly and we'll cover absolutely everything you need to know for your final exam. For topic 14.5 you need to describe gravitropism and phototropism and investigate gravitropism and phototropism in shoots and roots. For extended you also need to explain the role of the chemical auxin in controlling shoot growth. So far in chapter 14, we've learned about the ways in which mammals coordinate responses to changes in their environment. Like animals, plants must also respond to stimuli in order to survive. The responses of plants to stimuli like light, water and gravity are collectively known as tropic responses or tropisms. Tropisms are directional, meaning the plant either grows towards or away from a stimulus. So gravitropism is a response in which parts of a plant grow towards or away from gravity. Shoots are negatively gravitropic as they grow upwards away from gravity. This raises the leaves, helping the plant to compete for light and carbon dioxide, and moves the flowers into a beneficial position for pollination. Roots, on the other hand, are positively gravitropic as they grow downwards towards gravity. This anchors the plant and helps it to absorb water and minerals from the soil. Phototropism is a a response in which parts of a plant grow towards or away from the direction of the light source. Plant shoots are positively phototropic, meaning they grow towards the light source. This raises the leaves, maximizing light absorption for photosynthesis. In contrast, roots are negatively phototropic, which helps them to grow downwards towards the soil. Next, you need to know how to investigate gravitropism and phototropism in shoots and roots. Place several seedlings in a petri dish containing damp cotton wool, making sure that the radical or root of each seedling is aligned differently. Close the lid and place the petri dish on its side in a dark cupboard. Leave to grow for two days and then take note of any directional changes in growth. Regardless of their initial orientation, the radicals all grow downwards and the shoots all grow upwards. From this we are able to conclude that roots are positively gravitropic and shoots are negatively gravitropic. To investigate phototropism, cut a window in the top of one cardboard box and in the side of another. Water two potted seedlings and cover each with a box. Expose both boxes to a single light source and leave for one to two days. The stem of the plant in box A grows vertically while the stem of the plant in box B grows sideways. This suggests that young shoots grow towards light or in other words are positively phototropic. Okay so that's everything for core so we'll move on now to the extended content. So the growth responses of plants to light and gravity are controlled by chemicals. One such chemical is called auxin. It's produced in the tips of actively growing shoots and moves by diffusion to the regions of extension where it stimulates cell elongation or growth. Now auxin is unequally distributed in the shoot in response to light and gravity. In the case of phototropism, if a plant is exposed to light from one side, it's thought that auxins are either destroyed on that side or that they move from the light side to the shaded side. Either way, this unequal distribution means that the cells elongate more on the shaded side, causing the stem to bend towards the light. If a plant is placed on its side in the absence of light, auxins accumulate on the lower side of the shoot due to gravity. As a result, the lower cells grow faster than the upper cells, causing the shoot to bend upwards. Well done, you've just covered absolutely everything you need to know on topic 14.5, tropic responses. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate your subscription, and I'll see you next time, topic 15.1, drugs.